Jeff from Two Hacks Garage. Well, I tell you what guys, before we get started on assembling this engine further, as you saw, we have the crank and the pistons in, everything's torqued down. We're actually gonna check deck height. Now mind you, this is a 388 cubic inch small block Chevy. I'm building for that 1980 Camaro of my friend Todd's. We call it Project Fast Times. We just wanna figure out deck height on this to see how far the pistons in the hole, zero deck, or out of the hole. That could play into your piston to valve clearance and also gasket thickness on this. So it's pretty simple to do. I have a, a, a dial indicator with a deck bridge that came from Proform. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get that set up and see what your overall deck height is of your pistons. Tell you what guys, it's been a long day. I wanna get this finished up, go home and eat dinner. So we're gonna get cranking out on it. See you in a minute. All right, so it's pretty simple guys. It doesn't take a whole lot of time to do and it doesn't really take a whole lot of things but math, kind of your basic math. You have your dial indicator here that's gonna measure the depth. Um, you got this magnetic deck bridge and you got your, cylind or your, uh, your cylinder here with your piston in it and you're gonna be measuring the distance from this tip down to the piston. And what that's gonna tell you based upon when we zero deck it on the actual deck surface here, what is your piston to deck, or what is your piston to deck clearance on this? Um, that's gonna kind of let you know how far this thing's in the hole. So first thing first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it on the deck itself. So that is, if that piston was to come at exactly level with it, that zero deck, right? So what we're gonna do is, is we're going to take our micrometer here, and right now that's zero decked. So we're gonna back that off, that little set screw. We're gonna take our dial indicator. And we're gonna lock that thing in. See, it's on zero right there. We're gonna lock that in at zero. Like that. And I'm gonna slide this thing over. And you're gonna put it, you know, want it in the center of the piston. You don't want it in the valve relief area. That'd be a false reading. And then from there, you're gonna come up and you're gonna slowly bring this piston up. Watch how that dial indicator moves, right? See, I'm trying to go as slow as I can. And you'll see it stopped right there and it's going up, going up a little bit more, going up a little bit more. Okay, now it's going back down. Now mind you, it reads both ways. You can see the small marks there. So, oh, going back down, going back down. There's a little sweet spot in it. Okay, right there. So you see your zero mark there. It came around this way, by the way, I rotated it. Um, it can go either way. So if you're going this way, it's positive. If you're going this way, it's, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. The other way is 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. So if you look, we're at, we locked it in at zero. We rotated our piston in there until it was going up, coming down, and we found the sweet spot. And we are sitting right at 20 thousandths. So, yeah. See the mark right there where it says 20 thousandths? From this viewpoint, right on 20 thousandths. So yeah, these pistons are 20 thousandths in the hole, which is perfectly fine. That's kind of a safe measure, I think, you know, for your piston to valve clearance. And you know, I have a big block Ford I built that these were 10 to 15 thousandths out of the hole. I had to find a specialty head gasket to make it work with the lift of my cam and all that. And it was, you know, a little bit more added expense. This here, you know what? 10 to 15, 20 thousandths down the hole is perfect. Um, we will factor that in with our overall compression ratio, but I just wanted to do a quick video on showing you, hey, you know what? What is your piston to deck clearance on this? How far are you in the hole? Are you zero deck or what? Or are you out of the hole? Tell you what guys, I'm tired. I need to go home and eat some dinner. I just wanted to show you this real quick. Easy, simple to do, affordable, a little bit of math. Catch you on the next one, later.